So, I've been receiving a bunch of questions over the past couple of weeks. Uh, enough that it's put up a blip on my radar. How do you do music swaps in Undertale? Now, I'm hardly the authority when it comes to hacking Undertale files. I'm an enthusiast on the Underminer project, but there are way more people who know way more than I do on things like this. And sound, well, music swaps, that's baby bone stuff. Everyone ought to know how to do this. But instead of consulting the many thousands of tutorials on YouTube about subjects like this, you've decided to come to me. I question your judgement. Right. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure Undertale is closed. Because absolutely nothing in the Windows system environment will let you modify a file while it's being used. Also, it's bad show. If you try to modify a file while it's being used, the program will probably crash if it does anything. So, first a bit of background. The Undertale folder, which contains all of the working files, the program, the sounds, the music, what have you. First we're going to locate that because some people seem to have difficulty in knowing where it is. I have the Steam version of this game, so it's in Steam. If you have the DRM version you got from, say, Undertale.com, it'll be wherever you installed it. I don't have that. So, here's the Undertale folder, with some extraneous shit up here, never mind. These are all the music files, and maybe some sound files. You may notice they all end in OGG. This is a thing that games in the past two decades are doing. I mean, MP3 is a bit unreliable, and nobody gives a shit about Windows Media Audio. Also, whatever the fuck Apple is doing with the AC, AAC, whatever. Now, the OGG extension is very important. You could put any file you want in, but the game isn't going to do a damn thing if it's not, if it doesn't have that extension on it. So, the first thing we're going to do is take our song, which I have conveniently put here. It's an mp3 file, so it won't actually do anything yet. So, we need to use a sound editor. I recommend Audacity, because it can export OGG. So we... Now, I've selected this song before the recording even started. This song is perfectly cropped for what I want to use it for. The thing about Undertale is that it loops its song files absolutely. If it opens with a fade and closes with a fade, there will be moments where the song gets really quiet and starts up again. If you've ever played Spyro the Dragon, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, moving on. We go to File. Export. And we make sure that the type we're saving as is Og Vorbis. And we save. Okay, whatever. And we get this out of here. Be now here we have the song file. But it's still not yet ready. The way Undertale calls its songs is by name. So we can put this in here as much as we want, but it won't do a damn thing. Because Undertale will never call a song file called song.ogg. So what we do is we put this here in place of the song that we intend to replace. For this example, it will be the song that plays during the second half of the Papyrus boss fight, Bone Trussle. The first thing we do is we rename this to back it up. Because this is a very good song that you should never ever get rid of. Then we take our new song and name it to what the song file ought to be. Which is Muse Papyrus Boss. Making sure that it says OGG on the end. 
and really that's all you need to do. So, we go to Undertale. And we load our game up. Now, I haven't replaced the song file for Snowden yet. So, it's still playing the default. The song I've replaced is for the blue attack. So, we go through. We go to where the song file will proc. The point where Undertale will call it. Undertale will say... I need to play Muse underscore Pyrus boss. And we know when it will play that. So we skip all this prattle. Now it's still playing the normal conversation music. So we avoid all these attacks. All these really easy to dodge attacks. And the next song it loads up will be the song put in instead. So instead of playing Bone Trussel, we have... This is a good choice of song that I don't regret in any way. Also, can't play it for too long because I'll probably get content ID'd. So, music swapping in Undertale is really no big deal. If you know how to do it, you'll never forget. If you want to undo it, then you delete the song file that you replaced and the one you backed up, you put it back. And so we load to Undertale back up just to make sure that the song is back as it should be. And now it's playing the normal song again. Now, you could use this method to put pretty much any song you want to play anywhere in Undertale so that it can play a song file. Sound effects are a whole different thing that unfortunately I don't really know how to change. You can do this really with all sorts of music files in game. Such as, I've just noticed, the hypergoner attack counts as music. I mean, if you're a particularly sad person, you could replace that with, I don't know, I'm a fire in my laser. Now, the only reason why that would work is because this is not a sound file. Sound files are contained somewhere entirely different. They're contained in this, the data.win. Now, you need to do some major shenanigans to get into this file, and that's not in the scope of this tutorial, I'm afraid. Now I hope this has been informative, or at the very least, not unpleasant to listen to. I've received this question enough that I deemed it necessary to record how exactly it works. So, go ahead and disappoint all of us by ruining this perfectly good game with your terrible music choices. <laughs>